Hey everyone, Tracy at Mystically Divine Tarot. How's everyone today? I really hope you're all doing great. Welcome to my channel and welcome to today's pick a card reading. Today we are going to be asking Spirit, what's next in love? So based on the current energies, what could possibly be coming next, okay? Please remember to like the video and also to subscribe if you haven't already. Leave me a comment. Love hearing from you guys as well. Really appreciate it. All of those things actually help my channel out to grow too. So I am so appreciative of that. And also for all of you who are watching the short ads, I do appreciate you doing that as well. That certainly helps me out as well. All right, guys. So today we have three crystals and cards to choose from. For crystal number one, we have the amethyst crystal with the ears wide open card. Okay, for crystal number two, we have the Rose Quartz Crystal with the Close Encounters card. Whoops, almost dropped it. Okay, and for crystal number three, we have the Tiger's Eye Crystal with Imperfect Harmony. Okay, so choose which crystal or cards whoop, resonate with you most and I will see you in your reading. If you resonated with crystal number one, the amethyst crystal, and the ears wide open card, this will be a reading, okay? Today we're asking spirit, what's next in love, okay? And what I got immediately from this card, um, first the number 33 really stood out to me there, master number 33. And also what I got from this was that there's a lot of talking and paying attention to one another going on. So a lot of communication between you is what I was getting, okay? Let's see with the tarot for crystal number one. What's next in love? So there was a lot of um, deep talk, I felt. A lot of communication. Seven of cups. Yeah, so making emotional choices. So there could be a choice that one or both of you need to make in your life, okay? Could be talking about these choices. Let's see. Knight of wands. Ooh, moving forward quickly. Wanting to move forward quickly. Feeling very confident in what you're feeling for one another as well. Feeling safe. Mm, could be safe to express as well. With this communication, I'm feeling like there's a deep talk and very intention, like intentional listening, not intentional, but yeah, like intentional, like very present. You're both very present and aware. Very good long talks. Knight of Cups. Ooh, yeah, love offer. Wow, okay. So someone making an emotional choice to maybe offer love, right? Um, expressing this. Hmm, this is nice. Okay, let's see what else. Chariot. Ooh, fast forward movement. Ooh. This, was, this is very similar energy to a daily that I just done like not long ago. And I clear the cards every time. So, and this is card number seven. This is standing out to me. Number seven might be relevant to someone. And we have a seven of cups as well. Seven, seven. Ooh, that's big. Seven, seven. That has very significant meaning. Angel number seven, seven. So, hmm. New start type of energy lucky you know um mm. okay let's see with the uh, clarifiers seven of cups what is this about for crystal number one so some sort of a love offer coming in possibly um really feeling confident in your feelings for this person oh wow yeah it was a it was a hard decision there this could be a little bit of conflict still remaining in the mind of someone you or your person right because we're asking about what's next in love so it's about both of you so this could be you or them um there is a little bit of conflict still maybe residing in one of you it's a difficult decision 
But with the Seven of Cups, there is a choice being made. There's, you know, daydreaming about the future. And it could be inspiration as well to make a choice. It's a lot of talking and eye contact. That fox will not stop staring at me. <laughs> he, he catches my... Every time I look at something else, I'm drawn back to his eyes. There's this eye contact. Knight of Wands... What is this about? Definitely feeling pat. Oh, so nice. Queen of Cups. Definitely feeling passion and um, confidence in your love. And then the Queen of Cups comes out. So yeah, someone being very open and receptive to this offer. Um, so it's, it's really, it's building the confidence of someone. Someone is feeling really confident about it. So this is good. Let's see. Knight of Cups. Someone is very open and open-hearted, receptive, unconditionally loving, beautiful. Let's see what else. Wow, this is very nice energy. We have, ooh, could be a third party, yeah, okay. Walking away, making the choice, taking action to walk away from something emotional, right? We have the seven of cups. This could possibly be about a third party as well. Multiple options, you know? Um, oops, I thought I was done with clarifiers, but I'm not. Um, yeah, someone could be walking away from something emotional, making that choice to take that leap of faith, walk away from something emotional to, in order to allow for this love offer here. Okay, and again, these are general readings on YouTube, so only take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind, okay? Chariot, let's see, but that's definitely coming through for someone, Chariot. Ooh, yeah, there's a lot of passion. You guys might be, um, there could be some physical intimacy going on with you guys uh, pretty quickly, like right out of the gate is what I'm feeling. Um... With the chariot and the devil coming out. Uh, could be also a little bit of a fear of intimacy as well coming through. So a little bit of a mixed bag coming through. Uh, could be one way for some of you and one way for the other half of you or some of you. Um, there's a little bit of fear of intimacy and there's this deep desire for intimacy is the other. Okay, so it could be happening quickly once this comes together. Yeah, once some sort of a decision is made, yeah, there's something that might shift quickly uh, in the physical department, I guess we could say. Um, but there's definitely love. Uh, Queen of Cups, Knight of Cups. This isn't about only passion, desire, like a fling. It's not about that. This is about deep love. Queen of Cups is unconditionally loving. Let's get some Oracle for Crystal number one. Bringer of Change. Yeah, someone is about to make a big change in their life okay uh in order this could be for the people here that this resonates where someone's walking away from something you or someone else making a choice to walk away from something really bringing change into your connection and feeling like it's quickly nature hmm so getting together in nature so you could be spending a lot of time in nature yourself. This person could be spending a lot of time in nature, really connecting with nature. Um, or you could be spending time together in nature, okay? Um, once, you, once this offer is on the table, let's see what else. This offer could take place in nature. Wow, for some of you, this could take place in nature. So you might be somewhere outside with this person maybe that you you know you enjoy nature together and maybe you're outside somewhere and this offer comes in in nature um so we have this card here oops as i'm dropping it we have that card there and it oh a message for you i'm thinking of you this very moment your love fills me with light i love you wow i told you there's deep unconditional love Ooh, very nice very sweet energy. Someone really... And paying such close attention to one another. It's like you're locked on. Like, it, I don't even know how to describe this energy of this these eyes, right? It's like... 
I'm feeling like it's 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 a recognition. It's a yeah, leave the past behind. Um for sure. Um it's some sort of recognition like there's something or your eyes are just I don't know. There there's something about your eyes or their eyes. <laughs> it could be either or. Maybe they think your eyes are beautiful or you think their eyes are beautiful or something. And there's something about recognition coming through as well. Leave the past behind. Last quarter moon in Capricorn. So someone is leaving their past behind and moving forward to something more suited for them. Okay. Let's see what else. For crystal number one. Flexibility and diligence. Mm. So making a plan but remaining flexible making a plan but remaining flexible so not not worrying too much like if things don't go exactly as planned is what I'm getting working really hard to bring this offer but not getting kind of thrown off course if things don't go exactly as planned trying to remain flexible yeah so things might be, you know, like a little, there could be like, you know, twists and turns along the way. Or something like that. This tiger is really standing out to me too. Could be relevant to someone. The letter T. Something about the letter T could be um, in your name, their name. I don't know, could be relevant to you in some way. What else? Tiger, T, maybe, I don't know, maybe it has something to do with the tiger because it was right after tiger. Maybe someone's name is tiger? Possibly, I don't know. Truth be told, ooh. Oh, really? So someone has been hiding their feelings and they are about to spill. Ooh, someone. There's a lot too. Wow. I heard I love you, which came through already, actually. Oh, so maybe they haven't told you that. For some of you, that came through there, but I'm hearing it here. And now I'm feeling like maybe this for some of you, maybe some of you, you they've already told you this, but... For others, they might not have, um, with this truth be told, they're about to drop the mask. Everything's about to come flooding out. That could be what this talk and this eye contact, oh my gosh, there's so much intensity here. <laughs> it's like, wow. There's a lot of intense energy between you. Okay, let's get more. For crystal number one, please. What's next in love? Oop, feelings. There they are. Yep, they're going to come rushing out. Definitely some deep emotion that's been held in. That's going to come to the surface now. Things are going to start to uh, be revealed. Let's see what else for crystal number one. leaving partner mm-hmm yep see so it definitely does resonate for someone here someone oops someone leaving a partner behind so that that's this emotional choice right eight of cups was definitely what I was feeling choosing to walk away right and now leaving partner so that is definitely um for some of you what's happening here um is there's an emotional disconnect in one area of someone's life and they are trying to leave it in their past and move to their future okay let's see what else for crystal number one what's next in love healer of the ages wow heart chakra is very open yeah i was feeling that with the queen of cups anyway i feel like this is saying both of you are very open-hearted and you've both helped e helped each other to heal, okay? This has been a very healing love that this between you. Um, this person has felt your love and it's helped them to heal. Heal their heart. So they might have had this, whatever this, if this is your person that's leaving, this could have been a very breaking, like heartbreaking situation that they were in, that they're trying to leave behind. 
Let's get more for crystal number one. What's next in love? Our shadows are beautiful. This is about fully accepting each other as you are. Um, shadow sides and light sides, right? So this is about accepting you just as you are. You know, never having to change a thing. You are beautiful one way or the other. Yeah, so a lot coming through. This person feels like no matter what, they love you. Mm, very nice energy. Oops, sorry, did I show you? I think I did. Um, very nice energy coming through. They could also feel like they've never been able to reveal themselves to others like they can to you. And you accept them regardless, like you accept who they are. Means a lot. Means a lot came through. Okay, what else? Look at this. Be in the present. Dream of the future. Mm. Yeah, there was a little bit of daydreaming coming through on the Seven of Cups as well. So someone is, you know, you're in the present moment. I feel like you're both very present. Like, whew, locked in. It's so intense. Um, whatever this talk is, is pretty intense, I have to say. It's, it's a fiery passionate almost energy it's it's very hard to describe in words probably not comprehensible to the human mind definitely feeling like twin flame vibey with that one uh the intensity of it is feeling twin flames you know like feeling like twin flame vibes um be in the present and dream of the future so i feel like you're you're both very present with one another and you're both dreaming of a better future for yourselves okay is what i'm getting here so you both could have been in kind of like not ideal situations in the past. And you're dreaming of more. You're dreaming of more for yourselves, both of you. Yeah, you're both kind of, maybe you both kind of want the same things as well. Let's see what else for crystal number one. What's next in love? Creative blocks. If you're an artist of any kind, you can offer all work to the divine, making it God's alone. I offer this for the highest good to benefit the planet. Release me from any blocks and restrictions. May this serve all who need. Yeah, light workers. Okay. Yeah. So I was feeling, t again, I was feeling that intensity from the get-go. Um, twin flames definitely feeling like they're coming through here. And now... With creative blocks, I am feeling like this is like about to break open your mission together. I was called to read it. I offer this for the highest good to benefit the planet. To benefit the planet. Yeah. So I do feel, I, I don't usually read the cards. If you watch <laughs> my, my channel, you know. I usually only read them when spirit wants me to. Um, kind of leads me to do that. And that one really stands out to me. Benefit the planet. So this is about bringing light and love to the planet as a couple. And again, that might only resonate for some of you if you're a twin flame. Um, is what I'm feeling there. It, it's about coming together and shining brightly together. Look at this. And then swan flies out right after it. Aha! Another another kind of um, symbol of twin flames as well. Swan spirit, time for a deep dive, right? So really, um, not allowing the mind to overtake the spirit, okay? Following the heart, taking that deeper dive into your inner being and really not allowing your mind to overtake you is what I'm getting there. So for somebody here, they could be, like I said, I felt a little bit of still conflicting energy coming through here in someone's mind. Okay, what else? Taking shelter and miracles. Oh, expect the wondrous to emerge. Yeah, big things are going to happen here in this connection. Expect the wondrous to emerge. Beautiful energy there. And taking shelter, look at that, the answers are within. Just what I just said there, okay? This is about allowing us to go inward and follow that guidance. The answers are there, not here, not in the mind. They're in the heart and soul, okay? In the being, the being who you are. 
I already got those out. Yes, I did. Let's get these out here. Ow, just pinched my finger. Sometimes I'm just a hot mess, huh? <laughs> I keep it real. I won't edit it out either. You know that. Anyway, let's get more for crystal number one. Ooh, children. So children, your love life is being affected by children. So maybe you have children. Um, you could be, you know, thinking about what, you know, how they will fit into everything that you're planning, right? Because you always want to make sure that your children are taken care of, right? So you're, you're trying to, someone here, could be them as well, you or them. You both could have children. Maybe you want to have children together. Wow, a lot coming through. But for some of you, it's about really trying to integrate the connection and making sure that the children are okay. Like everything is going to flow with the children involved. Do you know what I mean by that? Like not saying that you wouldn't choose the children. What I'm saying is that you want to make the choice that you know is going to be best for them as well. You know what I mean? Like integrating them into this relationship or at least thinking about how they're going to be integrated something like that thinking about how they're going to be integrated maybe there's going to be if there's like someone leaving someone there could be children maybe it's like thinking about you know visitation and things like that right if somebody's leaving if this person here leaving a relationship or a marriage that had children maybe they're you know really thinking about when will I be able to see them? You know, like really those type of things. You know what I mean, right? So like really trying to make the best choice and make sure they have some sort of a plan for the children as well, you know, to be integrated into this connection, into their life and not losing anything in the process. Okay. If that makes sense. It's got to make sense for somebody because it's coming through. So... And for some of you, I feel like it's it could be that they want to have children with you. You could be, um, you know, maybe what well, we were, for some of you, you were having quite a lot of passion going on. Maybe, you know, you never know. You could bear children <laughs> together here. Okay, so, yeah, take it as it resonates. Kisses, unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection, falling in love. Beautiful, yeah, so... You know, really loving this. There's a lot of unconditional love that you feel with this person. And this is about really embracing that. Mm, very nice. And dropping the burden of the past. Yeah, dropping the burden of the past. Someone could have been really burdened with their past. Um, you know, really trying to make a choice for themselves for a while with this two of swords here. Kind of being stuck at a crossroads. And... You know, now it's about choosing differently, you know, using their own discernment and choosing differently, choosing better for themselves. So, okay, crystal number one, that is what I have for you for today. I really hope this reading was helpful. As always, please give it a like and remember to subscribe. Leave me a comment. I love hearing from you guys as well. Have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next reading. If you resonated with crystal number two, the rose quartz crystal... And the Close Encounters card, this will be your reading. Today we are asking Spirit, what's next in love? And what immediately came through here was spending some time together. And another message came through that said possibly running into them somewhere. So running into them somewhere. Um, so it could be like a serendipitous type meeting, right? Just kind of running into this person that you really have feelings for. The one on your mind for this reading. And for others, and, and even that, that, that surprise meeting could also lead to spending time together as well, okay? Um, but definitely for some of you, it's spending time with someone that you love, the one on your mind here. Let's see. And keep in mind, these are general readings, so not all messages will resonate for everyone, okay? Let's see. Take what fits, leave the rest behind. Tower, something ending in somebody's life and something exciting starting. Wow. And it could happen pretty suddenly. Um, something ending, something starting. Wow, big messages right out the beginning. Something exciting starting too. Hmm. Okay. 
let's see what else with the tarot for crystal number two what's next in love king of swords some sort of clarity someone received some sort of clarity and they're communicating something to you a truth could be communicating a truth They've gained some clarity, courageous, courageous, someone's being courageous. They've gained clarity. They want to speak a truth. Hmm. Okay, let's see what else. A lot of different messages there as well. Ooh, six of cups. Somebody from the past, possibly. Soulmate or twin flame could be reconnecting past life relationship um with this person so this is a past life connection deep soul bond hmm okay interesting let's see for crystal number two the tower why the tower I was listening. I thought more was coming through, but it didn't. Okay, the tower. So some sort of fear coming to an end. Good. <laughs> good. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Wow. All right. Good. There could have been a lot of fear in this connection. There's a lot of obsessive desire. <laughs> obsessive desire as well. So a lot of desire and passion, but a lot of fear surrounding it. So a lot of maybe fear of intimacy, possibly something's ending. So yeah, it's ending. So they've healed them. So somebody's healed themselves, healed these fears in the mind and it allowed for this new start because something was ending. Something new was beginning something passionate. Um, Let's see, page of wands. Let's get a clarifier on it. But yeah, look at this. Yeah, someone's manifesting it. They've put in the work, okay? Someone's put in the work to alleviate some sort of fear in the mind. And now they're manifesting a new start. Yeah, could because, you know, definitely could be a twin flame, a lot of fear, um, triggers, things like that. But with the magician coming out on page of wands, I'm feeling like, yeah, they, somebody's done the work here to really um, come forward with this new start. King of Swords waiting. Oh, right. So there's a clarity. Okay. So no longer wait. You don't have to wait any longer. They've gotten some sort of clarity. They want to speak their truth. They're being courageous, coming forward, taking action. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> there's a lot. Okay, being courageous, coming forward, taking action. You don't have to wait anymore. I think that was everything. Oh my goodness, that came through so rapid fire. <laughs> um, I think, yeah, it could move quickly. I, I, I feel like this, again, sudden, yeah, sudden shift. Whew. Sudden shift. Six of cups. Let's see, for crystal number two, six of cups two of wands they've made a choice all right i want to know what this choice is queen of cups page of pentacles okay yeah so they've they're choosing love now okay you might receive uh, choosing love in the physical world okay uh choosing unconditional love from their feminine i am feeling like this is a twin flame thing i you know it's really like hoo, 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 like super duper fast and intense it's like i don't know it just feels it with the six of cups coming out for sure too so someone making a choice for unconditional love in the physical world with the page of pentacles could be receiving some sort of a message as well um regarding the connection or feelings this clarity yeah it's you you could receive some sort of a message we did have that page and this page pentacles and wands so taking action you know the actual action so i'm seeing someone typing so maybe an email or something on a computer someone's on a computer could be a distance 
something from afar so it could be a distance um for some of you right of course it might not be not everybody watching this has someone far far away at a distance um this could just mean physical distance too you could live right down the street <laughs> from the person okay um it could just mean physical distance from afar but they're typing someone's typing could be on a phone too but i'm seeing a computer so for some of you it could be a computer as well all right let's see could be email text message okay i think that's it <laughs> all right let's get some oracle for crystal number two wow this is pretty uh intense <laughs> this reading okay let's see some sort of truth want to come out here a lot coming through a lot of messages Whew. rapid fire too like they're coming out so quickly like i could hardly even keep up so i feel like something is going to be fast moving once this shifts or something mm, yep <laughs> oh yeah calling forth the waves that's awesome Oh, yeah. Things are going to shift really quickly, okay? Things is going to be a nice shakeup coming, but a good one, right? Something, this fear ending is going to really ignite some sort of passion or something in both of you, I feel. Memories of the forgotten self. So this is about really looking back at the past and trying to recapture something, okay? Um, calling forth the waves, yeah. This could be something happening here with this close encounter, maybe, too a lot of passion uh between you and deep love finally accepting love or choosing love in the physical let's see memories of the forgotten self yeah looking back at the memories looking at photos so many messages wow play i mean i don't mind it at all it's awesome play so yeah wanting to have some fun Call forth the waves. Woo, have some fun. Yeah, there's definitely, there's deep desire here as well. So I am feeling like something physical here as well. Physical touch is a big thing here for this connection. Or they certainly want it to be. They, they really, like, look forward to that. We have this beautiful card here. So beautiful with the two hearts on the wings. Oh, my beloved. Though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united. Yeah. For love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. Yeah. Twin flame. Uh, for some of you. Um, again, I was feeling it with this here. It was something about distance. And then I'm like, it could be that they live right down the road. Physically apart. <laughs> you know? Uh, it did come through already. So yeah, it's something about just being physically apart. This person is really admiring you from afar, wanting to message you. Um, yeah, there's, there's this pull, you know, to do so. They're wanting to manifest this. They're leaving fear in the past, clearing their mind. What else today for crystal number two? detoxify yeah exactly clearing their mind detoxifying the energy between you really clearing out the the mind chatter the clutter in the mind okay going deep into the heart space okay with about this love that they feel this deep unconditional love they've gained clarity the wait is over my goodness they keep oh illumination yeah something came to light <laughs> they gained clarity illumination flies out yeah so something really um awakens in this person and again keep in mind these could be you or them so this could be you awakening to something and making a choice right so always remember to um we're asking about what's next in love for this connection you and the person on your mind so could be you or them that things are coming to light there's clarity being reached Always take it as it fits for you. These are general readings. Community. Working together. Working together. It's possible you work together. You could work together in the community. 
Mm. Yeah, for some of you, you could work with this person, you could work together in the community. Um, the infinity symbol number eight here really standing out to me as well. Could be a life path. Okay, let's get more for crystal number two. What's next in love? For crystal number two. We have two. Gentleness. Oh, yeah. There, there's definitely a want for physical touch, but in the most gentlest way possible. I feel like this person has a deep care uh, for you with this gentleness card. Very kind, um, slow movements, seductive almost with this gentleness card and positivity. Yeah. So really remaining positive. There could have been times when negativity got in the way, right? With this fear. Okay. The devil card, there could have been um, times of negativity that really kind of, you know, halted the connection or, you know, the love from growing or something like that. And now it's about just remaining positive through it. Really seeing the positive side of things. Let's see what else for crystal number two. We have crying and third party. So there could be a third party involvement. Uh, again, could be anything. It doesn't have to be a relationship, but it could be. Um, and this person could be, um, you know, upset that they're choosing themselves. You know, the third party is crying. So someone else involved might be a little upset that they're choosing um, what's right for them in their heart, right? Because they're feeling rejected or, you know, whatever the case may be. Let's see what else for crystal number two. Daughter personal healing and happiness. Wow. Yeah, so leaving this third party behind, if this is someone leaving someone behind, uh, is going to open the door to personal healing and happiness. And even if it's someone that's not leaving someone behind, I feel like this connection is the door to healing and happiness, okay, for both of you. Okay, beautiful rainbow here as well. I'm noticing a sign of hope, right? Um, hope for the future, really looking forward to things healing and happiness so yeah it's a very healing beautiful love okay is what i'm getting there let's see what else for crystal number two what's next in love for crystal number two your your truth is powerful <laughs> and didn't i tell you somebody wanted to speak the truth right yeah, so the truth is going to really transform things, okay? The truth in this situation is what is necessary. Wow. Hmm. Yeah, there's a lot. A lot that needs to be said. Okay. Yeah, a lot that needs to be said. Could be to you, could be to someone else, could be to both of you. Hmm. What else we have? Get to know each other and the only thing that is real is love. Beautiful. So get to know each other. This is about really wanting to be together. Spend time, right? Enjoy each other. Have some fun. Playful. But getting to know each other on a deeper level, a lot of communication. The only thing that is real is love. This is about getting back to that heart space and leaving the mind out of it, overcoming fear and really going deep into the heart. Beautiful. That is good energy to come through for sure. Let's see what else for crystal number two. What's next in love? Yeah, so this is about transcending the, the obstacle of the mind, moving forward toward healing and happiness.
let's see loneliness so someone's missing you uh, or you're missing someone this person is missing you or you're missing them or both you know it could be both as well um you both could be feeling pretty lonely or one or the other could be definitely feeling a little bit of loneliness really wanting to bring this connection in and have some fun and get to know each other you know so um definitely an element of missing and longing coming through there let's see koi fish spirit there is there is always enough mm. so what i'm feeling with koi fish spirit is that someone has really kind of raised their own vibration into an energy of i know what i deserve i know what i am worth like knowing your own worth self-worth like rising is what i'm getting here with this one today someone's self-worth really rising let's see what else hmm nice you are enough you are enough so if it's you that has self-worth issues this person would like you to know you are enough because that just came through as well let's see what else for crystal number two what's next in love for crystal number two please Ooh, we got some flippers Okay, let's see what we have. Grace and gratitude. Mm, super grateful. Wow. And surrendering to the journey. So someone surrendering, or could be both of you as well, acceptance and surrender happening here, especially if this is a twin flame connection, this would make perfect sense um, to surrender it to the universe and just know that union will happen when it's time right when things are balanced out and with grace and gratitude coming out with it that's exactly what i feel like is happening um grace this is being in the flow okay and being grateful for the present moment right being in flow so yeah i feel like this is these two together is saying that this balance is being achieved between you moving with grace and gratitude very nice okay let's get one of these out please for crystal number two what's next in love reconciliation yeah someone from your past is returning we definitely have that energy out multiple times reconciliation with someone from your past let's see what else for crystal number two I don't really need to say more about that. We've already said that's already come through. So that's just extra confirmation for you. Yeah, breakup, separation. See, someone is, there is a third party for some of you, of course, not for all of you, okay? Someone that was stuck in a pattern. Someone that was um, going round and round, doing the same things over and over again and keeping on allowing it. Wow breakup separation yeah it's stop the pattern they could be getting the silent treatment as well they could have an abandon abandonment wound from it as well they could have they might have healed from it could have been something that was uh, part of this fear as well okay there was a lot coming through there but for some of you someone here is leaving a partner behind breaking up separating from someone and let's get one of these as well for crystal number two duality yeah see it was they were living in a state of duality they want oneness yeah they, they this is about being stuck in 3d consciousness duality right here ego fear they're moving out of duality they want oneness now they're, they're trying to operate from a higher consciousness okay um really leaving this fear behind transcending that obstacle okay and moving forward toward reconciliation okay all right crystal number two of this is what i have for you for today i really hope this reading was helpful as always please give it a like and remember to subscribe if you haven't already leave me a comment i love hearing from you guys as well have a wonderful day and i will see you in the next reading 
If you resonated with crystal number three, the tiger's eye crystal, and the imperfect harmony card, this will be your reading, okay? Today we're asking spirit, what's next in love? And honestly, I'm going to come right out and say it, the twin flame union, okay? In perfect harmony with your twin flame, okay? If you're not a twin flame, this could simply mean that you are in perfect harmony with someone, in alignment with someone, but definitely twin flame union came through as the card fell out of the deck, okay? So for some of you watching, and of course you'll know if you're a twin flame, if you're not, doesn't mean the reading doesn't apply, but definitely take the energy as it resonates for you, okay? This feeling of harmony and balance between you, okay? Someone that's really in alignment with what you want in life, what you want to accomplish in a relationship, you know, the things, the same goals, values, things like that. Doesn't have to be a twin flame, but for some of you, I feel it definitely is. Eight of Wands, a lot of communication between you, okay? Back and forth communication. So a lot of talking going on and decisions being made. Wow. Okay. Crystal number two had such rapid fire um, communication uh, through messages from divine, okay? So, but you're having it with your person, so that's good. But yeah, they might be too. There's just a lot of messages coming through right now. Ooh, temperance. Yeah, you've had to be patient through it. And now it's coming into balance, just as I said, right? Temperance is about balance as well. Beautiful energy here. So nice, balanced energy between you. Very, very important in a twin flame connection, okay? The energy being out of whack is what causes separations, right? causes people to pull away because when one pushes the other one runs right this is about achieving balance i already heard that with the first card let's get more please a lot of communication so a lot of talking yeah no more feeling left out leaving the negativity behind right this is about achieving balance see so someone was stuck in negativity They've really balanced their energy out. They could have been fear, doubt, things like that. They're really leaving the negativity behind and allowing their, their energy to be calm, at peace, smooth, right? Between you, energy flowing, not button up against each other, right? So let's get one more before we get clarifiers, please. Two of Swords, difficult decision. So there is still a difficult decision that needs to be made even though there is balance achieved. Someone having to make a difficult decision, they're at a crossroads of which way to go, okay? They still do have to make this decision is what I'm getting, okay? So there is balance achieved. So there's what I feel, surrender and acceptance here of the connection if this is a twin flame. And if it's not a twin flame, same thing. Someone has accepted the fact that they care for you. They really love you. They want to move forward with you. They feel very aligned to you. But they could have something in their life that they have to leave behind in order to make it happen. Okay. Uh, very common in twin flame connections here. So again, it doesn't have to be a twin flame, but it is very common in a twin flame connection. Let's see. Eight of Wands. What is this communication, please, Spirit? A lot of it. Oh, yeah. Communicating you want a new journey together. Beautiful. Okay. So we got full energy. New starts happening. I was feeling that already. Union is coming. Temperance. Making the choice. Yep. Choosing balance over negativity and fear. Just what I said when that one came out. <laughs> this is going to go very quickly, isn't it? <laughs> okay. Oops. <laughs> Jeez. I guess so. Five of Pentacles. Feeling very strong and confident in yourself now. Someone. Both of you. I feel both of you. Uh, there is a, a level of balance here. So I feel like both of you have really risen in your own power. You're feeling very strong and confident in your love, right? You know that this is the person you want to be with. You're in perfect harmony with one another. You know this is the love of your life. This is your person. Difficult decision. What is this about, please? Yep, dropping. Okay, ending a painful cycle. I can't pick up the card. Ending a painful cycle. So 
someone walking away from something painful in their life, okay? Could be anything. Could be another relationship. Could be anything, though, okay? These are general readings. So take it as it resonates for you. But if your person is stuck in some sort of a painful situation, this is the end of the painful cycle, okay? So that is good energy as well. This is how balance is achieved and things like that, okay? Let's see what else. We have, ooh, I can see Beauty of Age. It came out with another card. Beauty of Age and, ooh, right. Hmm. Yeah, so this is about the connection maturing, really transforming into something beautiful. And threefold protection. This is about universe having your back, okay? Both of you trusting in the universe as well with threefold protection. You're protecting your energy, they're protecting their energy, keeping it balanced, and the universe is providing, okay? Wow, big time message there. Beautiful. Nope. Kind of ran out of room. I, I, I've been putting these in the wrong place. I've been getting a little better since I moved the cloth. But <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's get these out as well for crystal number three, please. This is beautiful energy. I love it. Balance. Love it. Love it. Road less traveled and nature. Okay, we got two of those as well. See a lot of twos coming out too. union, right? Two people coming together. The road less traveled, you know, traveling into the unknown, right? Taking that risk, taking that leap of faith, you know, going where others haven't gone before. Nature going where others haven't gone before nature, something about nature, too, with that message. Connected, that's connected. So going where no one has gone before could be like some like an unbeaten path kind of thing, right? In nature, maybe like some sort of a really like cool adventure in nature, you know, hiking in the woods or something. I don't know, <laughs> but that's coming through. So that might be relevant to someone here. Let's get more. What's next in love for crystal number three? Yeah, adventures in nature. Beautiful. We got two again, or is that three? I think that's three, actually. Yeah, it is three. Okay, so we're starting with, ooh, freedom. Yeah, someone ending a painful cycle. There is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. Okay, freedom. So someone breaking free of some sort of painful cycle in their life. Ooh, very nice. So we have this one here, a message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. So that is a beautiful message as well. And then we, ooh, new beginning. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. Yes. So exactly full energy, right? We got new beginnings. This is beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, definitely feeling like there's something here that, someone gets free from and opens up the gate to a new beginning. All right, let's get more for crystal number three. What's next in love? Two cards again. This was three. Freedom, three. Yeah, it could be from a, a, a another person with three coming out there. I don't know. Go deeper and assess the situation. So really diving deep, right? Going into the emotions, seeing what you're really feeling, not what you're thinking, what you're feeling, right? And assessing that situation from the heart space, okay? Making decisions from the heart space and not from the mind. Let's do that because I think that'll fit better. There we go. <laughs> All right, let's get more for crystal number three. Making decisions from the heart space, not the mind. Yeah, that's this here. Having to go deeper to make that decision, you know. Look, go by what you're feeling, not what you're thinking. Let's see, for crystal number three. Hmm, now we got one card. Yay, okay. No, it doesn't matter. I don't care when more come out. I know when to take them and when not to. Ooh, taking risks and this beautiful hawk here. Wow really standing out to me uh the hawk so taking risks yeah this is this full energy really just you know 
taking that leap of faith and knowing and trusting in the universe, okay, just trusting that everything is going to work out, you know, the way it should, everything is happening as it should. Very nice. Let's see what else for crystal number three. Imagine hmm. daydreaming. Somebody's daydreaming. Yeah, somebody's daydreaming, having visions, night dreams, imagining the future. So really putting what they envision for the future to the forefront of their mind. Yeah, wow. So that could be um, helpful in kind of calming down the, the chaos, the thoughts, these thoughts, right? The, the unsure feelings, you know, conflicting thoughts and stuff. Light, beautiful. Light, your light is shining brightly. You're very magnetic to this person. Yeah, they see you from afar. See you from afar, like a lighthouse. Could live near lighthouses. Cape Cod coming through. Cape Cod's in Massachusetts. That's like not even far from me. That's pretty cool. <laughs> um, yeah, Cape Cod coming through. They see your light from afar. So for some of you, it could be uh, that this person is at a distance or they're just physically distant. That came through for someone else as well. Another crystal as well. Not the exact message, but something similar. Okay, let's see. Let's get more for crystal number three. What's next in love for crystal number three, please? What's next in love for crystal number three? We have two again, I think. Yep. Yeah. Ooh, meditate and proposal. Ooh. Yeah, this is about going deeper, assessing the situation, seeing where you want it to go. And proposal, for some of you, this person is thinking about proposing marriage pass possibly, okay? Um, really going deeper and assessing where their heart lies, right? Yeah. Hmm, very nice, okay. I mean, if you're in perfect harmony with this person and your, your values and what you want in life align... Twin flame or not, doesn't matter. Um, if your values align, oh, sweet card, then yeah, why not, right? I mean, why not follow the 3D rules and get married or whatever, you know? If you're a twin flame, you're already spiritually married to this person. But this is about getting married in the 3D, okay? Caring connections. So this is a beautiful card about unconditional love. Um really wanting this both of you okay really wanting this in your life deep love someone who cares and nurtures you cares for you and nurtures you <laughs> let's see what else for crystal number three this is very very nice energy new start energy the beneath opens up to you. Yeah, see? So this is about really diving deep into the emotions. I've already said that here with the going deeper. It, it's coming through again. So someone is really diving deep into their emotions. And I'm also feeling with this card here that someone is, there may be things that are left unsaid at this point. And that might just be for some of you. But some of you, it is about going deeper into their emotions. But for some of you, it's about letting them out as well. Like speaking the truth of, the, of their feelings. Yeah, something is left unsaid. So for some of you, yeah, I feel like they may not have um, expressed something to you that they really want to. Okay, let's see what else for crystal number three. What's next in love? This looks really good. Ooh, yeah, spiritual connection. Yeah, there's another confirmation that you are deeply connected to this person. Like I said, twin flame, you would know it, or deep soulmate as well. It could be a very powerful soulmate connection as well. You know, a relationship has a connection that goes beyond this lifetime, past lifetimes, 
that's what twin flame soulmate you're going to feel that recognition with these people right so you're going to know that you're deeply connected spiritually with this person and that is like i said another confirmation if you are thinking you're on the twin flame journey and all of these energies are coming through this is spirit trying to let you know that your intuition is on point about it because you're always always following your own intuition these readings should only be confirming what your intuition is already telling you right mistakes okay so yep so for some of you there could have been mistakes made in the past in this connection mm, they set you free they walked away someone walked away yeah they set you free as i was saying this and i saw this one they set you free is what came through they they gave you like your independence they they let you go kind of like they 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 discarded you kind of thing you know what i mean like you felt that way like they were pushing you away or walking away from you or something they set you free that was a big mistake they feel like it was a big mistake they feel regret over that so this person could be wanting to come in with some sort of an apology as well is what i'm getting there it's about a walking away even if it wasn't a twin flame it doesn't matter it could have been someone else you know that you were connected to you had a relationship and then they kind of walked away and you felt thrown away you felt discarded you felt rejected uh, it, it hurt you they regret it they may come in with some sort of an apology and that might only be for some of you okay maybe not all of you but some of you that's coming through there let's see what else for crystal number three moth surrender yes 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 this is where you're at surrender i knew it i could feel it with a balance right away in perfect harmony this is about surrender once you surrender in especially if this is a twin flame connection you're trusting in the universe you're not allowing fear and anxiety in 1717 just cross my timer just saying um you're not allowing fear and anxiety to overtake you you're remaining balanced surrendered okay whatever happens happens and then that's when union is able to take place wow for surrender to come through that is big okay i mean i was already feeling it but for it to come through in a card is always extra confirmation for you okay that what i was feeling in the beginning was you know the true the basis of this connection right now is i feel is you've reached the state you know it's a turning point yep all is possible see you just know that it's going to happen you just know and you don't care when where why how it doesn't matter because you know why you trust that it will that's all that matters you chose your path you know all is possible and you know that this is your person end of story you know you just know no ifs ands or buts you just know okay we have forgiving and learning i told you for some of you that this person is going to come in possibly with a, an apology okay so there might be an element of forgiveness necessary and free i thought it was two. free yourself also came out with that so someone needing to set themselves free from whatever it is this painful cycle in their life um whatever it is for you your person it's come through a couple times we had freedom over here as well uh, definitely needing someone needing to free themselves make the choice but with balance being achieved it becomes um priority almost okay let's see what else we have a cute oh wedding rings oh union ah first word wedding rings union wedding married soul co soul connection eternal love everlasting promise beautiful beautiful energy crystal number three um i'm gonna put it right there on surrender because 
that's what will bring it in so I'm gonna put it right there and I feel like you've reached this point like I said with imperfect harmony and I mean so much energy of surrender on the board beautiful good on you if this is especially if this is a twin flame connection um, very difficult to navigate navigate at times and you've done a phenomenal job if you are at this point right now beautiful Ooh. I almost dropped it teaching I thought one fell down too. no teaching so yeah you're very wise now okay um and if you're divine feminine watching this you are the leading twin in a twin flame connection okay so all of your healing work that you thought at one point and don't try to kid me because I know at one point you thought why am I doing all the work right <laughs> I, I want comments on that one I'm gonna love it because you guys know I'm right and you're like why am I having to do all this work and blah 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 divine masculine blah 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 right you doing the work helps divine masculine to rise right with you okay you are the leading twin so all of your hard work was paying off without you even knowing it okay just had to throw that in there because that came through here someone was thinking why am I doing all the work but and I know you know I know what you're feeling so and you guys know I'm right <laughs> you know you felt it at some point so and it's okay we're human right we are human and it's normal to feel what you are feeling but now you've done such a good job getting here so be proud be proud of yourself and good luck because this is union energy for sure all right crystal number three best of luck if you do uh, come together with your twin flame of course um, as always please give this video a like I hope it was helpful for you leave me a comment I love hearing from you guys as well and subscribe if you haven't already have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next reading mm -hmm.